Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick video on could Chris Taylor be a helpful addition to solve some of the Phillies' problems. The Phillies are, of course, looking as it seems like they're not going to keep Andrew McCutcheon to get a left fielder, but Chris Taylor, in the other hand, would actually solve potentially a couple problems. Because if you do, like some articles suggested, say, move JT Real Muto into the outfield when one of the other young cats are ready to at least catch from a defensive perspective consistently behind the plate in Logan O'Hoppy or Rafael Marcon, or you grab a vet off the market and let JT play left field. Chris Taylor can be a cheaper addition. One of the guys that I honestly wasn't even thinking of that you could get as a cheaper addition um, to play the shortstop position because he had experience there, he had experience at third, and he's a very good gold golf caliber talent, like Mike Lowell pointed out on MLB Network, um, where the Phillies have not obviously been too adept at developing that caliber of a defensive player in recent seasons, really since you had J-Roll <coughs> um, play that shortstop position, and Freddie Galvis. Um, so he would be a guy that is a welcomed addition there. Uh, obviously, for second base, you would think you would still have Mean Gene Segura play next year since he's coming off of a very good season. <coughs> Excuse me, he's coming off of a very good season last year. Um, but I do think, obviously, Didi Gregorius, it'll be interesting to see if the Phillies keep him or move him. Um, I have a feeling they're going to try to move him. Uh, not sure what you would get. So maybe they're just end up keeping him, but we'll have to see. But when it comes to Chris Taylor, I think he's definitely a very good guy to pick up. If you're the Philadelphia Phillies, he's a career 261 hitter. Um, he's a guy that was named to his first All-Star game this past season, having 73 RBIs, 25 doubles, 20 homers in 148 games. He's a guy that seems to be getting better with age. He was drafted by the Mariners, um, went to the... Dodgers, of course, became a star with the Dodgers. Somebody that really helped them win the World Series is a big-time playoff hitter. And the Phillies need to add that experience, that winning experience. He won the World Series in 2020 into the locker room, just like you saw the Flyers this offseason. Add some people that have really good winning experience, which really helps in a locker room. They added some really good locker room guys. Chris Taylor is a great guy to have in your locker room. He has a World Series. You never heard any problems about him. He's a guy that's a great guy to have. He worked his butt off to get to where he is, being drafted by the Mariners, not really finding his own there, and then really working his butt off to get to be what he is and having that work ethic of an ox to be able to get to where he's at in L.A. And now he's going to move on. Coming here, I will welcome him with open arms because he can solve our left field issue if you don't move JT out there. Or he could be a cheaper version at shortstop if you don't get the Seegers or Trevor Stories or one of the bigger names of the world, since Corey Seager also, as well, did decline his qualifying offer. So this has been a video on could Chris Taylor be a welcomed addition that solves some of the Phillies' problems? Yes, he could be, and he would definitely be a very welcomed addition by me and I think many fans out there in Phillies land. Peace out, everybody, and let's go Phillies. Start making some offseason moves.